what's up welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video now that i have completely switched my closet over to all of my summer items i thought now would be a good time to discuss some of the summer trends that i already own and you might too the first trend being a more overarching umbrella type of trend and it is y2k fashion i'm calling this an overarching trend because there are many individual trends that can fall under this umbrella of y2k fashion the most notable being low rise the jeans the pants the micro mini skirts all of that is very reminiscent of the early 2000s which is an era i've already lived through i was in high school at the beginning of the 2000s so I feel like I don't need to go back there again. And while I'm not going to be wearing any low-rise jeans anytime soon, I do think that the saving grace for low-rise this time around is the fact that all the low-rise jeans and pants are loose-fitting. When I was in high school, we were all wearing low-rise jeans that were skin-tight, and I feel like we all have the permanent muffin tops to prove it. Another Y2K fashion trend that I am not going to be participating in are the micro mini skirts that are more reminiscent of a belt than an actual skirt that i i just can't the most wearable y2k fashion trend right now in my opinion are psychedelic prints i know that's something that most people would associate with the 70s but i feel like psychedelic prints and bold prints in general had somewhat of a resurgence in the early 2000s and now are just back again. Fashion always comes back around. For the psychedelic prints trends, I have two dresses from Target that I recently picked up. This one, which is definitely a more traditional 70s style psychedelic print. The exact same dress, just in a more neutral brown and cream print that is kind of swirly checkerboard pattern and although I picked these two up more recently the psychedelic prints trend is something that I definitely would not splurge on I would definitely go the more cost-effective route and buy something that I wouldn't mind decluttering a year or two from now another thing that I actually like about the y2k fashion trends is that I feel like it's very easy to replicate or incorporate into things that you already own you can do it in so many different ways if you don't like the low rise or the prince trend you can always go with accessories wearing headscarves has been a really big trend recently and i feel like that definitely falls under the y2k fashion umbrella trends when i was in middle school i definitely had a scarf to match every pair of sneakers that i had so this is definitely a trend that is making the rounds again. Along with the psychedelic prints, bold colors are a really big trend right now with the Kelly Green or Bottega Green being the most popular. Pretty much every brand has something in a Kelly Green color out right now. Also, hot pink is very on trend and just color blocking in general has come right back around. The next trend is a matching summer set where you have a button-down shirt with the matching shorts or a matching skirt. I feel like this is a super easy trend to take part in because yes you can go out and get an identical matching set from any store but you can also just use what you already have. For instance I have a linen button-down shirt from H&M and uh, these champion sweat shorts that I could pair together and they would look identical from far away. <laughs> I feel like this is another super easy trend to get on board with. Not to mention the fact that matching sets gives you a endless amount of outfits to wear and you can pair the top with a number of different bottoms or the bottoms with a number of different tops. Moving on to the micro pleats trend. Pleats have been on trends for a number of years now. Pretty much every brand has a pleated item now and this summer super skinny, super thin micro pleats are what are on trend. I have these old Zara pants. They're very lightweight, super thin, and great for the summer even though they are black. The next trend that has also been around for a few seasons now are cutouts. And this summer I see cutouts mostly in dresses. 
I have this top that has a cutout at the waistline on both sides which I feel like is super flattering and for that reason I have kept it around for a long long time and will definitely be getting more use out of it this summer. The next trend that has been all over designer runways for this season are plain white ribbed tank top. Not just the basic ribbed tank top that you would normally see, but the more sheer white ribbed tank top that's kind of more reminiscent of a men's like undershirt. I have this redone bodysuit that I picked up a few months back. This is pretty much the exact same thing just in bodysuit form. I actually didn't know it was super sheer when I bought it, but since I have it, I'll definitely get some use out of it. Another trend that I feel like could potentially fall under the Y2K fashion trend is crochet. Crochet tops, pants, dresses have been all over everywhere and it's just another example of what's old is new again. I have this very old crocheted top. I don't even remember where I got it from, but I have loved it and held on to it ever since, so this will definitely be getting some wears this summer. The last clothing trend that has been really popular recently are camo prints, like camo printed everything, camo print jackets, pants, skirts, I feel like camo is almost a neutral at this point and can't even be classified as a print anymore but I definitely have these old camo printed Proenza schooler pants that I constantly wear all the time so they're just going to get even more love. Moving on to shoe trends with the most popular one this summer being also another trend that could fall under Y2K fashion trend, the platform heels. By now we've all seen the Valentino version and the Versace version and a bunch of other brands are following suit. This just proves, like I said before, fashion always comes back around. So if you have something that is old, that you love, that you feel like you won't wear this year or next year and you still feel a deep desire to hold on to it because you might wear it in the future feel free to definitely hold on to it i have these light pink suede giuseppe zanotti platforms that i've had since probably 2018 and they are a very very similar style to the valentino platforms that are on trend right now the one major difference being that these have a peep toe and the Valentinos have a closed toe. These have a squared off front end which I feel like just makes them more interesting and is a detail that I look for when shopping for things that I know I want to keep in my wardrobe for a very long time. Another pair of platforms that I've had just as long as the pink suede ones are these denim leopard print Giambattista Valley platforms and these I just know I'm probably never ever going to get rid of. I love the way they look. I'm only 5'3", so wearing a platform definitely helps me out in the height area, and I just know I'm always going to have these. I know platforms aren't for everyone, and some people feel like they're super unnecessary, and bold prints or colors just aren't their thing. So if you were interested in a platform but don't want to go that route, I feel like something like this, the, these are a pair of Maj wooden platforms. They're a lot lower than the other two, clearly. You can see the heel difference there. These I feel like are way more wearable and way more classic and you could get a lot more use out of than either one of the other two. Another shoe trend that could also technically fall under the Y2K fashion umbrella are platforms, which are basically just flat shoes or sandals that are raised up on a platform, very much reminiscent of Steve Madden platforms back in the early 2000s. I have this pair that I've had for many, many years now. They're from the brand Pahar, which I believe do like um, down coats for the winter. So I picked these up. They're very, very comfortable. And I feel like the fact that they're close to my skin color makes them way easier to pair with any and every outfit. And finally, the last shoe trends are barely their sandals. Basically, it's flat sandals that have 
either very thin leather or suede that you can barely see when it's on your foot. I have these Zara lace-up sandals from last year. Also another trend that I feel like is coming back around again are the gladiator lace-up style sandal trend. Not so much the like cage sandal but definitely the wrap around the ankle or up the leg type of sandal. So that's it for this video. I hope you got some inspo or some outfit ideas. I hope you are inspired to search through your closet and see what you have so that you feel like you don't need to go out and buy something brand new. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.